mwaki waje mwenye ato wale kama moyo wake ni maana ya tena ni horo hapa msumio sikarani very generous ni mtu pia kurani ndiye ndio kwa roge ah na toni ndio wa msumio we have go kwa yana ni koyo ndio ya mambo ya tempo joroge kuma kutora ya yetu kuri pia bu kasoka kagorana kwa makatebo ina mambo mwe kuita ku mangiri wangali makani ni todo ila la tanda kula ile kwa makatebo bika mwana wangu siana sia makatebo mudogo ito kuma kuma ina kwa masali ya yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Si umejua hiyo jina ya pili inamaanisha natoka wapi? Kwa hivyo kikuyu najua ni kidogo ile ya kuomba kwa sababu ni Margaret Dimoe kumumenya Noge kuyo bugaga atiriri Ati gimayu maga mutu ine Kwa obo tishanashi ya kene shiotuwe Na nituwe neandu wega na nima tukaga wega Kwa hivyo 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 Nina furaha kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo anelea kufanyika katika inchi yetu Niseme jambo la kwanza kuna hii discussion ambayo imekua katika inchi yetu Mambo ya GMO Niseme ya kwamba GMO ni watu wanajaribu kuongea mambo ambayo hayako GMO tumeishi nayo kwa miaka mingi sana. Aa, nikizaliwa ile maindi ambayo tulikuwa tunapanda. Sio hiyo maindi ambayo napanda wa siku ya leo. Kwa sababu wa, uh, wakarabati wameenda wakatengeneza, dipoza production yendelee kuwa juu. Kwa hivyo, hii GMO tuko nayo, tumekula, imekuwa kapamuda na sisi katika inchi ya Kenya. Kwa hivyo, hata hii chakula ambayo raisi amesema italeto katika inchi yetu ya Kenya, si hati inakuja kututhulumu hapana ni ile upunguvu ambao tuko nao katika mahindi katika mchele na pengine katika sukari tunajaribu kuhakikisha ya kwamba watu wetu watapata chakula cha kutosha uh, jambo hilo lingine tunamshukuru rais sana kwa sababu ame jambo ambalo aliahidi wakati wa campaigns ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba gharama ya fertilizer imeweza kupungua na hapo awali kidogo tuliweza kuona tulikuwa na fertilizer ambayo ilikuja na ikasaidia wakulima. Kitu ambacho kitatusaidia kama wa Kenya ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumepunguza cost of production especially wa upande wa, wa, wa kupanda. Tukiweza kuwa na fertilizer ya kutosha ambayo ni ya bei ambayo mwananchi anaweza akaweza kujinunulia 
hiyo itaweza kusaidia kwa sababu baada ya kupanda na kuvuna uh, huyu mtu ambaye amefanya hiyo kazi yote ataweza kuwa na kitu ambacho ataacho nacho uh, mfukoni jambo hilo la mwisho ni jambo hili ambalo linahusiana na makamu wa rais his excellency regarding ashagwa tunawaomba wale ambao wako upande wa upinzani waweze kumheshimu uh, regarding ashagwa na hiyo sio tafadhali regarding ashagwa lazima aheshimiwe yeye ndiye kingpin yeye ndiyo mtoto wetu kutoka mount kenya na ile kazi ambayo alifanyia hii serikali hakuna mtu hata mmoja ambayo haoni kazi ambayo regarding alifanya siku ya leo sisi kama wakikuyu tumeheshimika sana kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo ama uongozi ambayo uh, regarding ashagwa aliweza kutuongoza na jambo ambalo ningependa kumuomba governor wa Nairobi Sakaja wacha kutafuta watu wa kupiga kelele hapo kando regarding ashagwa lazima aheshimiwe na hiyo sio tafadhali regarding ashagwa lazima aheshimiwe there is uh, during moisera when there was a lot of drought eh? and we got yellow maize Wazir can confirm that. We got yellow maize. Some of you did not, were not there then. There was yellow maize. I want to remind Kenya that yellow maize was GMO. And we consumed, even myself, when I was a small kid. So this propaganda about GMO is doing this, is doing this, that's propaganda. Because what I'm asking the opposition, would you like our people to, do, to, to eat GMO and survive until we get our harvest? Or do you want them to perish? They start perishing the way you have seen people perishing in other areas in the northern Kenya. All you want them to be alive to the other season. So what I'm telling them, we said we want a serious opposition. But when it comes to food stuff, please, I would tell them to keep off, keep off completely. And I want them to reason like an opposition person called Karuma, who is saying the wrong run solution is production of food. So what I would say, this is propaganda and we should stop it. Yeah. I would say that uh, the first road that was released for subsidy fertilizer was 1.5 million bucks by Kenya Kwanza government. I know there was a scrabble and scratches because like people from Kirinyaga were getting it all the way from uh, Sagana. But now the Kenya Kwanza government has put systems in place so that we get fertilizer near to the farmers. And the president said that we are expecting six million bucks this time. So the scrabble will not be there. Uh, and I know this fertilizer will assist our farmers. Actually, even this importation of maize is just a stop gap measure. And it, it might not even happen if it continues raining. So I would urge Kenyans to be a bit patient. Uh, I know you've been patient enough. Please be patient so that we can move together but i can assure you i can give a guarantee that in six months from now to one year you will see the results of kenya kwanza government it's a government that is working it's a government that is delivering it's a government just went and found empty coffers so i would ask kenyans to be a bit patient as we reorganize the government uh i was reading in the papers that there is a madman somewhere from bunyura who was insinuating that they have, they want to impeach the deputy president. First of all, I tell him not to expose himself so much. He should go back to the constitution and check the threshold of impeaching a deputy president. The ranks, and I ask him, that, do they have even the people to do that? Number two, I want to tell them, Rikade Gashagwa is the deputy president of Kenya. And Rigathi Gashagwa is the kingpin of Mount Kenya. And we are not taking anything less than that. We don't want the awards. We voted for this, uh, for the president and deputy president. They were unable to bring their, their pair. That was Mother Karo and Raida. They were unable to bring these two to the people. And the Kenyans, when it was not fas fashionable to do it, they voted for William Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa. So keep off completely. And I want to tell my friend Sakaja, this is not about friendship. You have to, to respect Rigathi Gashagwa as the deputy president of this country. Rigathi uh, Gashagwa is not your equal. 
He is the deputy president. You are just a governor of one county. Please give him space and respect him. No, by the way, let me tell you, we are, we are welcoming them. And that's why you've seen, in, even in our appointment, the presidency is not appointing people from Azimio because we want a strong opposition to keep on checking us because there's nothing we are hiding. We are transparent, we are showing whatever we are doing. We want a, an opposition that will keep us on check. The president is ready, the deputy president is ready. We are all ready for a strong opposition. So let them appoint, but they should not take too wrong. No, they keep on talking and nothing is happening. We want to see actions. Let them appoint tomorrow. And first of all, Iraq should know how to handle Caruso because I think they are fighting. First of all, they finish their internal wars before the appointment.